This is lesson 6.1, Graphing Systems of Equations. Your objectives are to determine the number of solutions a system of linear equations has and to solve systems of linear equations by graphing. Two or more linear equations involving the same variables form a system of equations. A solution of the system of equations is an ordered pair of numbers that satisfies both equations. The table below summarizes information about systems of linear equations. So as you see in the table, when you have a system of linear equations, it's two lines. And those lines could do one of three things. They could either intersect, be the same line overlapping itself, or be parallel lines. If they intersect, there's exactly one solution, and that solution is at the point of intersection. You call that consistent and independent. If it's an overlapping line, there's infinitely many solutions, and that's called consistent and dependent. If the lines are parallel, they never intersect, so there's no solution, and that's called inconsistent. Use the graph to determine whether each system is consistent or inconsistent, and if it's independent or dependent. We'll use the table that we just looked at to help us answer these questions. Number one, y equals negative x minus three, which is that line right there, and y equals x minus one, which is that line right there. Well, those lines intersect at one point, and when lines intersect at one point, the system is called consistent independent. Number two, two x plus two y equals negative six, which is that line there in blue, and y equals negative x minus three, which is that line in red. Well, those overlap. Red and blue make purple. So the whole line overlaps itself. When it's the same line, that's consistent dependent. Number three, y equals negative x minus three, which is that line there in blue and 2x plus 2y equals 4, which is that line in red. Those lines are parallel. They never intersect. This system is called inconsistent. Number 4, 2x plus 2y equals negative 6, which is the blue line, and 3x plus y equals 3, which is the red line. Blue and red overlap to make purple right there. They intersect at one point. When a system intersects at one point, that's called consistent independent. You can solve the system as well. One method of solving a system of equations is to graph the equations on the same coordinate plane. When you solve, you're looking for the exact point that they intersect. It'll have an x value and a y value. Your answer will be an ordered pair if there is one solution. If there's no solution, it'll just be no solution when they're parallel. And if it's an overlapping line, then it will be infinitely many solutions. Graph each system and determine the number of solutions it has. If it has one solution, name it. Number one, y equals negative two, and three x minus y equals negative one. Let's graph each of these. We'll do y equals negative two in blue. Well, when you have y equals a number, that's just a horizontal line through that number. So we'll do a horizontal line through negative two. For 3x minus y equals negative 1, we need to solve that for y so we can graph it. 
Solve for y. First, we'll subtract 3x from each side. That leaves a negative y on the left. And instead of saying negative 1 minus 3x, say negative 3x minus 1 because you want the x's first. And now we have a negative y. Let's divide both sides by negative 1 so we can have a positive y. And that just changes all the signs. So y equals 3x plus 1. We'll do that in red. It has a y-intercept of 1. And the slope is 3, which is 3 over 1. So we'll rise 3 and run 1 to go right there. Draw the line. And these two lines intersect at one point where the blue and red make purple. So there's one solution. And the coordinates of that solution are negative 1, negative 2. Graph them. Say how many solutions there are. And if there's one solution, name it. Number 2. X equals 2 and 2x plus y equals 1. First, graph x equals 2. We'll do that in blue. When x equals a number, that's a vertical line through that number. So we'll draw a vertical line through 2. For 2x plus y equals 1, let's solve it for y so we can graph it. Subtract 2x from each side. The 2x's cancel on the left and leave a y. And instead of saying 1 minus 2x, say negative 2x plus 1, because you want the x's first. Now we can graph that. The y-intercept is 1, and the slope is negative 2, which we can put over 1, so we can rise over run. Negative 2 over 1 rises down 2, right 1, to go right there, and draw the line. This system intersects at one place right there where blue and red make purple. So there's one solution. And that solution has the coordinates 2, negative 3. Number 3. y equals half x and x plus y equals 3. Let's start by graphing y equals half x. And remember, when there's nothing plus or minus after the x, that's a plus 0. So we have a y-intercept of 0, a slope of half. So we'll rise 1, run 2 to right there, and draw the line. For x plus y equals 3, we're going to have to solve that one for y. Let's subtract x from each side. The x's cancel on the left, leaving a y. And instead of saying 3 minus x, say negative x plus 3. This has a y-intercept of 3. And when it's negative x, that's really negative 1x. And you can put that over 1. So the slope is negative 1 over 1. We'll go down 1, right 1, to there. Draw that line. This system has one solution right there at the intersection where blue and red make purple. The coordinates of that one solution are 2, 1. Number 5. 3x plus 2y equals 6 and 3x plus 2y equals negative 4. First, we're going to have to solve for y on the first equation so we can graph it. Subtract 3x from each side, and you get 2y equals negative 3x plus 6. Then divide both sides by 2. The 2's cancel on the left, leaving y. Negative 3x divided by 2 is negative 3 halves x plus 6 divided by 2 is 3. That has a y-intercept of 3. The slope is negative 3 halves, so we'll go down 3, right 2, to there, and draw the line. 
Now let's solve the other equation for y and graph it. Subtract 3x from each side. The 3x's cancel on the left, and that equals negative 3x minus 4. Divide both sides by 2. The 2's cancel on the left and leave a y. Negative 3x divided by 2 is negative 3 halves x. And then negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. This one has a y-intercept of negative 2. The slope is negative 3 halves, so we'll go down 3, right 2. Draw the line. And we can see that these lines are parallel. They do not intersect. There's no solution. We could tell right off that these lines are parallel because they have the same slope. Remember, parallel lines have the same slope. They don't intersect, and there's no solution. Number six, 2y equals negative 4x plus 4, and y equals negative 2x plus 2. Let's solve the first equation for y so that we can graph it. Divide both sides by 2 to get the y by itself. Negative 4x divided by 2 is negative 2x. 4 divided by 2 is 2. That line has a y-intercept of 2. The slope is negative 2 over 1, so we rise down 2 and run 1 to the right to there and draw the line. The other line we'll do in red. It has a y-intercept of 2. And the slope is negative 2, which we can put over a 1, rise down 2, right 1, and draw that line. Well, those lines overlap. Blue and red make purple. The whole line is the solution. We have infinitely many solutions. When the lines overlap, and it's the same line, there are infinitely many solutions. So when you have a system of equations and you're graphing them, you will graph the two lines. If they intersect at one point, there's one solution, and that's consistent independent. If they overlap each other and form the same line, there are infinitely many solutions and that's consistent dependent. If the two lines are parallel and they don't intersect, there's no solution, and that would be inconsistent. When you're solving these systems, if there's one solution, name it by the ordered pair of the point where they intersect.